Hi, attorney Ashley here from Shane Smith Law doing a segment of Know Your Rights. Today I'd like to talk about depositions. While it's not something that comes up frequently, it can happen in er any area of the law. You could be getting questioned by your own attorney, by opposing counsel's attorney, or perhaps you don't have attorney at all, you're just a witness that's been pulled in. So first off, let's just start by de defining a deposition. What that is, is simply someone asking you questions, but it's under oath. So the equivalent of when you go into court and you swear your oath in front of a judge, this is the same as that without having to go before the court. It's going to be with the attorneys present, a transcriber who's going to write everything down, down to who's asking the question. It can be used later in court if whatever matter you're being deposed um, on proceeds to trial. I'd like to go over a few things that you should know if you are going to be deposed. It's a nerve wracking thing. So remember uh, just to stay calm. They're just here to ask you questions. The way you wanna approach it might change depend on which party you are. So if you're just a witness, just answer the questions as best you can. Um, this isn't about you. It might be about an accident you, you saw. It might be about something that happened at work. You saw a coworker slip and fall. And you, maybe you saw a defect, maybe you didn't. They're looking to see a third party who has no real stake in the game. And in that scenario, I would just say answer as best you can. Keep it short and sweet if you don't remember, say you don't remember. In other scenarios, if you are a party at one point or another during a deposition, it's gonna be opposing counsel questioning you. They're gonna try and rattle you. That's their job. Part of depositions aren't just about getting evidence. It's seeing how well you would handle as a witness on the stand. So meaning, do you get hot headed really quickly? Are you relatable and, and empathic? The attorneys are weighing whether or not you're gonna be a gamble to put before a jury. Are they going to like you? And should they settle out beforehand because they might end up losing more money on the case after you were to you know, speak in front of a jury. So expect them to try and frazzle you and get you wound up. The biggest things to remember are short answers. Yes and no if you can. Was the weather nice today? I don't have to describe it, I could say yes. Make them ask the question more specifically. If they want the information, make them work for it. Don't volunteer any free information. That's the, probably the biggest thing that attorneys run into when they've got a client being deposed is the client's just free will giving a bunch of information. Part of this is because, again, you want them to work for it, but part of it too is that if you have to recall these statements later, it's a little bit harder the more information you give. And they might try and catch you saying something a little bit different later to question your credibility. Is that necessarily fair? No, but if you keep it shorter, it's gonna be easier on you. The second piece of advice I'd give is if you don't know, say you don't know. And if you're unsure of what they're asking, ask for clarity. Don't just guess or assume, ask them to rephrase the question, say you don't understand and see if there's another way they could present it. I don't know or I don't remember are both acceptable answers and keep it short. Those are the best things you could do. If you're being deposed, if you need any help, if you have any other questions not related to this, give us a call, okay? In pain, call Shane. Our number is 980-999-9999.